Hello and welcome. My name is Carolina and I'll be your guide on today's video on let's talk about gene editing in domestic livestock. What is gene editing? Gene editing allows scientists to change an organism's genetic instructions, also known as DNA, by adding, deleting, or altering the sequence of DNA at a targeted location in the genome. Why were horns needed? Horns were advantageous to the predecessors of modern-day cattle to defend themselves against predators. This leads us to our next question. Do cattle then need horns in present-day farms? Cattle have been domesticated to be used in the beef and dairy industry and are therefore less likely to encounter predators in their environment. Rather, cattle with horns may be used them to hurt each other and also the people handling them, which can be dangerous. If horns are dangerous, what is done in present day farms? The common farm practice of this budding is used to remove horns in calves. The procedure of this budding starts with administering a local anesthesia around the horns to prevent the animal from feeling pain. The next step then involves either placing a paste or a hot iron on the growing horns in calves. Both procedures aim to destroy the cells that are responsible for horns to grow and prevents horns from ever growing again. Do calves feel pain as their wounds are healing? Although local anesthesia is administered before the disbudding procedure, scientists determined that calves still felt pain over time, while the disbudding wounds were actually healing. Calves felt this pain independently of the disbudding wounds being touched or not. It was found that the wounds were painful for up to three weeks after the disbudding procedure. In general, the disbudding procedure is performed mainly in dairy cattle. What are the differences between beef and dairy cattle? Both beef and dairy cattle were domesticated and selected for different traits. Horns are the most notable trait that is absent in most beef cattle. Scientists have recently discovered the specific gene that is responsible for horn growth in dairy cattle. The gene has a different DNA sequence or allele in beef cattle which prevents horn growth. Dairy cattle could be naturally selected to not have horns, but it would take many generations to get there. Another solution that farmers could implement would be the use of gene editing to introduce the beef DNA sequence in place of the dairy cattle sequence at the gene responsible for horn growth to create genetically hornless dairy cattle. What are the ethical debates on genome editing? Current debates argue that genetic interventions that cause suffering are unacceptable, but if DNA of animals is altered to reduce suffering, then it is acceptable. It has also been mentioned that it is unethical to leave an animal suffering when there are solutions to stop it. The ethics surrounding gene editing to stop horns from growing is a solution that avoids harm, has in mind the best outcome for most, if not all, dairy cattle, and the responsibility to end unnecessary suffering. Thus, a cow suffering that depends on the public and the scientists coming together to end it. The key messages for this presentation are that horns are not needed in present day farms and can be used to hurt other animals and or handlers. Farmers deal with horns but remove them through the disbudding procedure. Calves feel pain with or without touching the disbudding wound that are healing for up to three weeks. Selection of cattle has existed for a long time, but breeding dairy cattle naturally to not have horns would take many generations. Gene editing can provide a rapid solution to create naturally hornless dairy cattle to prevent pain associated with the disbudding procedure. Ethical debates on gene editing argue that preventing suffering and taking action to end suffering is more important than doing nothing. Thank you for viewing this video on Let's Talk About Gene Editing in Domestic Livestock. Please proceed to take the post-webinar survey, which will finalize your participation in this study.